everyone. My name is Bharti Patel, Assistant Professor, Computer Science and Engineering Department, Chhattisgarh Swami Vivekanand Technical University, Bhilai. So let's begin with the detailed understanding of the today's lecture on basic image manipulation and enhancement techniques. So moving forward towards the introduction, which is separated with two subsections listed as definition of basic image manipulation and enhancement techniques and second one is importance of image manipulation and enhancement. So basic image manipulation and enhancement techniques refers to the process of modifying digital images to improve their quality of appearance. These techniques involve making adjustments to an image color, contrast, brightness, sharpness, size and other aspects to improve its visual appeal or to meet specific requirements as shown in figure 1. These techniques are important tools for photographers, graphic designers and other professionals who work with digital images. Image manipulation and enhancement are important because they allow individuals and organizations to improve the visual quality of their images, whether it is for personal or professional use. Here are some specific reasons why image manipulation and enhancement are important. First, for improving image quality. Second, for removing unwanted elements or noises. Third, highlighting specific features of that particular image for object detection. Fourth, creating a consistent visual identity and fifth one is meeting specific requirements according to the need. So in this we have to go with some subtopics like image formats. So in image format there are different image formats and understanding image resolution and color modes. So in different image formats there are several image formats available for storing digital images. Each format has its own unique features and is designed for specific uses. Here is an overview of some of the most common image format. First JPG that is called Joint Photographic Experts Group. Second PNG Portable Network Graphics. Third GIF Graphics Interchange Format. Fourth one is TIFF or we can say Tagged Image File Format. Next one is BMP Bitmap. And the last one is RAW. RAW is an uncompressed image format as shown in figure 2. So figure 2 shows that different image formats with their specific requirements and we can say the different formats for their need. So understanding image resolution and color modes are very important because the concept in digital imaging it is very important to define the image quality. So it is explained here in image resolution it refers to the number of pixels or we can say picture elements that make up an image. The resolution is usually expressed as the number of pixels per unit of length such as pixels per inch or PPI. So higher resolutions result in more detailed and sharper images while lower resolutions may appear blurry or pixel related. So next one is color modes. In color modes it determine the range and number of colors that can be used in an image. The most common color modes are RGB that is called red, green and blue and CMYK that is called cyan, magenta, yellow and black or the key value. The next RGB is used for digital images and displays while same YK is used for print. Other color modes include grayscale, indexed color and lab color. Understanding image resolution and color modes is important for ensuring that images are optimized for their intended use. For example, images intended for print should have a higher resolution and be in CMYK color mode. White images intended for digital use may have a lower resolution and be in RGB color mode. In Python, image resolution and color modes can be manipulated 
using libraries such as Pillow, which provides tools for resizing images and converting between color modes. So, next sub topic is cropping and resizing. In this, we will see that importance of cropping and techniques for resizing images and understanding aspect ratios. So, what is the cropping? Cropping is the process of removing unwanted areas from an image by selecting a specific portion of the image and discarding the rest as shown in figure 3. This is typically done to improve the composition of the image or to remove distraction elements. So, cropping is an important technique in image editing because it can help to improve the overall visual appeal of an image. By removing unwanted elements or we can say noise, a cropped image can focus the viewers attention on the most important parts of the image. This can also help to improve the image balance and symmetry, making it more suitable or pleasing. So, in figure 3 we can see how to crop an image and this is one of the example by using python we have get this particular output. Let us see in further lectures that how to crop the images. So, there are some techniques for resizing the images. First of all we have to understand what is resizing. So, resizing an image in python involves adjusting its dimension either to make it larger or smaller. Here are some techniques for resizing images using python. So, first one is using the PIL that is called python imaging library. This is one of the module. So, in the PIL module, it is a popular library for working with images in python. To resize an image using PIL, you can use the resize method which takes the desired width and height as arguments or as a values. Here is an example by using this code. We can see in this code we have to take the image. First of all we have to import the libraries. Then we have to open the image or we can fetch the image with some particular format. Then resize the image by this resize function. Here the value 500 comma 500 it is showing the dimension of that particular image. Then save the resized image by image save. The next is using the OpenCV module. So, OpenCV is a library for computer vision and image processing. It provides a resize function for resizing images. Here is an example. In this example, we can learn that how to resize the image. First of all, we have to import OpenCV library, then read the image or fetch the image according to our suitable format. Then we have to take the image dimension, then resize the image by resize function with the value like width and height, then save the resized image. So, next one is using the SkyKit image module. SkyKit image is a library for image processing in python. It provides a resize function for resizing the images. Here is an example for SkyKit image. First of all, we have to import the libraries, then read the image as image read with suitable format, then resize the image by resize function with the values of dimension, then save the resized image. Next is how to understand the aspect ratio of particular image. In image processing, aspect ratio refers to the proportional relationship between the width and height of an image, which define the dimension also. So, it is an important parameter that affects the visual appearance and suitability of an image for different applications, such as printing, display and analysis. To calculate the aspect ratio of an image using python, we can use the cv2 image read function from the opencv library, 
to read the image and the shape attribute of the image array to obtain its dimensions. Here is an example code that demonstrates how to calculate and display the aspect ratio of an image. So, in this code we can see here we have to import the library first after that the same step we have to load the image by image read then get the dimensions of the images dimension in the sense their height and width and channels. After that we have to calculate the aspect ratio then display the aspect ratio. So, in this code we are going to load the image using cv2 image read function then we obtain the dimensions using shape attribute of the image array which returns a tuple of height, width and channel values. We calculate the aspect ratio by dividing the width by the height and we display the result using the print function. In some applications such as web design or video processing, it is important to maintain a specific aspect ratio for images to ensure that they are displayed or processed correctly. To resize an image while preserving its aspect ratio, we can use this cv2 resize function with the inter underscore area interpolation method which preserves the details and sharpness of the image. Here is an example code that demonstrate how to resize an image while preserving its aspect ratio. By this example, we can learn in short that we have to import the library, then load the image, then set the desired width and calculate the height. After that, we have to resize the image while preserving its aspect ratio. So, in summary, we can say that we have to set the desired width and calculate the corresponding height using the current aspect ratio. We use the cv2 resize function to resize the image to the desired size while preserving its aspect ratio and we use the inter underscore area interpolation method to preserve the details and sharpness of the image. So, next one is adjusting brightness and contrast. This is also very important. In this subtopic, we will see the definition and importance of brightness and contrast, techniques for adjusting brightness and contrast and understanding about the histogram. So, brightness and contrast are two important image attributes that can significantly affect the way an image is perceived. Brightness refers to the oval or lightness or darkness of an image. Increasing the brightness of an image makes it appear lighter and more washed out. While decreasing the brightness make it appear darker and more shadowy. Contrast it means on the other hand refers to the difference between the brightness and darkest part of an image. Increasing the contrast of an image makes the highlights brighter and the shadow darker which can create a more dramatic or striking effect. Decreasing the contrast can make an image appear flatter and less dynamic. The importance of brightness and contrast lies in their ability to enhance or detract from the overall quality of an image. Adjusting the brightness and contrast can bring important details. Improving the clarity of an image and make it more visually appealing. They are specifically important in fields such as photography, graphic design and video production where the manipulation of light and color is key to creating impactful visuals. So, next is techniques for adjusting brightness and contrast. In python there are various libraries and techniques they can be used to adjust brightness and contrast in images. Here are a few popular options. First, OpenCV. OpenCV is a popular computer vision library that can be used to adjust brightness and contrast in images. Here is an example of how to adjust brightness and contrast using OpenCV. 
you can use this code on your system and you have to learn that whether to use this library or not for that particular requirement. In this first of all we have to import the library that is import CV2 then load the image adjust brightness and contrast according to the requirement as we are taking increasing brightness and increasing contrast. After that we have to display the adjusted image. Next is pillow. Pillow is a popular image processing library that can be used to adjust brightness and contrast in images. Here is an example of how to adjust brightness and contrast using pillow library. First of all we have to import the library then we have to load the image our input image or we can say the image read then we have to adjust the brightness and contrast again we are increasing the brightness and increasing the contrast after that we have to display the adjusted image the next one is numpy it is very common numpy is a popular numerical computing library that can be used to adjust brightness and contrast in images here is an example of how to adjust brightness and contrast using numpy so again we are using some libraries function like import numpy as np import cv2 after that we have to load the image or give input to that particular function after that adjust the brightness and contrast again we are increasing the brightness and increasing the contrast with sufficient values then display the adjusted image and we have to show that particular image which is adjusted and adjusted with some values. So understanding of histogram is the next another topic. In image processing a histogram is a graphical representation of the distribution of pixel intensities in an image. It is a useful tool for analyzing and understanding the characteristics of an image such as its brightness, contrast and color balance. To create a histogram using python we can use the matplotlib library for plotting. Here is an example code that demonstrate how to create a histogram of a grayscale image. This is a simple code you have to apply and you can learn the output. First of all we have to import the library then load the images, calculate the histogram and plot the histogram. For plotting we need matplotlib library function. In this code we first loading the image in the grayscale format by using cv2 image read function then calculating the histogram using np.histogram function and which takes the flattered image array and the number of beans as input and returns the histogram values and beans edges finally we use the plt hist function to plot the histogram. To create a histogram of a color image we can convert the image to a grayscale image. First using the cvt color function it means converting some specific format to a grayscale image. We can also create separate histograms for each color channel using the cv2 dot split function and plot them separately using different colors. Histograms can provide useful insights into the characteristics of an image such as the brightness and contrast distribution. The presence of shadows or lights and the color balance they can also be used for image processing tasks such as histogram equalization, thresholding and color correction. So next one is color adjustment that is another subtopic in this we have to learn the importance of color adjustments techniques for adjusting color understanding about the color balance saturation and hue so first of all we have to learn what is color adjustment basically it refers to the process of modifying the colors of an image or video to improve its visual appeal or to correct any issues with color balance or accuracy. Color adjustment can be done through various software tools and techniques such as color grading, color correction and white balance adjustment. Color adjustments are important because they can significantly impact the overall quality and perception of an image or video. 
poorly balanced colors can make an image look dull washed out or overly saturated while accurate color adjustments can enhance the visual appeal and evoke specific emotions or moods for example a warm color palette with yellows and oranges can create a cozy and inviting atmosphere while a cooler palette with blue and green can evoke a calming and peaceful effect so techniques for adjusting colors python provides several libraries that can be used to adjust colors in images such as opencv pillow and skykit image here are some techniques for adjusting color in python so first of all we have to learn changing brightness and contrast to adjust the brightness and contrast of an image in python you can use the opencv or pillow library for example to increase the brightness of an image using opencv you can use the cv2 add function and adjust the contrast you can use the cv2 convert scale abs function next one is color correction method to perform color correction in python you can use the sky image library in this library it provides various functions to adjust the white balance exposure and color cast of an image for example to adjust the white balance of an image you can use the color temp function so next one is color grading to perform color grading in python you can use the opencv or pillow library for example to adjust the saturation and hue of an image you can use the cv2 cv2 color function in opencv or the image enhance module in pillow then next is histogram equalization histogram equalization is a technique that can be used to adjust the contrast of an image to perform histogram equalization in python you can use the opencv or pillow library for example to perform histogram equalization using opencv you can use the equalize hist function we'll see in further lectures that how to use histogram equalization next one is color space conversion color space conversion is a technique that can be used to adjust the color balance of an image to perform color space conversion in python you can use the opencv or pillow library for example to convert an image from rgb to hsv color space using opencv you can use the cv color function we'll see further in the next lecture that how to use color spaces and what are the different types of color spaces so understanding of color balance and saturation and hue it is very important first of all we have to understand color balance saturation and hue are important aspect of color adjustment in images and they can be adjusted using various techniques in python here is a brief explanation of these concept and how they can be adjusted in python first we have to learn what is color balance color balance refers to the distribution of colors in an image and it can be adjusted to make an image look more natural or to create a specific effect to adjust color balance in python you can use the cvt color function in opencv to convert an image from one color space to another like rgb to hsv or hsl for example to adjust the color balance of an image using the lab color space you can use the following code in this code first of all we have to load the or we have to import the libraries function we have to load the image then convert to lab color space after that we have to adjust the color balance which is our primary goal to achieve the color balance after that we have to convert back to bgr color space that one that is the original one then show the result by using image show so this code adjusts the color balance of an image using contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization in the lab color space which is most commonly used technique so next is saturation what is saturation saturation refers to the intensity of colors in an image 
and it can be adjusted to make an image look more or less white. To adjust saturation in python, you can use the cvt color function in opencv to convert an image from one color space to another and then adjust the saturation channel. For example, to increase the saturation of an image using the hsl color space, you can use the following code. You have to apply this code on your system and you can get the output. In this code, first of all, we have to import the libraries according to the requirement. After that, we have to load the image with some particular format. Then we have to convert to HSL color space, which is our primary goal. Then we have to increase the saturation and convert back to BGR color space. Then show the result by image show. So, this code increases the saturation of an image by multiplying the saturation channel by 1.5 in the HSL color space, which one is the different color space. So, next is hue. Hue refers to the color of an image and it can be adjusted to change the color of an object in an image or to create a specific effect. To adjust hue in python, you can use this cvt color function in opencv to convert an image from one color space to another and then adjust the hue channel. For example, to change the hue of an object in an image using the hsv color space, you can use the following code. In this code, you have to apply on system and learn that how to convert. First of all, you have to import the library, load the images, then convert to HSV color space by CVT color function. After that, we have to change hue of red object which is requirement for this particular task. After that, we have to convert back to the another channel. So, conclusion, in this conclusion, basic image manipulation and enhancement techniques which are essential for various image processing applications including digital photography, computer vision and graphic design. These techniques allow us to resize, crop, rotate, flip, adjust brightness and contrast, color balance and apply different types of filters to images. Additionally, restoring techniques enable us to repair damaged or degraded images and adding text and watermarks allows us to brand, identify or to communicate information on top of the original image. The implementation of these techniques can be done using different programming languages and libraries such as Python and OpenCV, MATLAB or Adobe Photoshop etc. Understanding of these techniques is crucial for anyone interested in image processing as they provide a solid foundation for more advanced techniques and applications. So, list of the outcomes are there for this particular topic. The outcomes of basic image manipulation and enhancement techniques can vary depending on the specific technique used and the desired result. So, some of the common outcomes are first improved visibility. Techniques such as brightness and contrast adjustment, color correction and filtering can improve the visibility of an image by making it brighter, clearer and more vibrant. Second one is better composition. What it means? Cropping and resizing techniques can improve the composition of an image by removing unwanted elements or focusing on the most important parts. Next one is corrected flaws. Techniques such as restoration can correct flaws in an image such as scratches, artifacts or noise. Then next one is enhanced aesthetics. Techniques such as adding text or watermarks can enhance the aesthetics of an image by adding branding or communicating information. Then next is pre-processing for further analysis. Basic image manipulation and enhancement techniques are often used as pre-processing steps for further image analysis tasks 
such as object detection, recognition and segmentation. Overall, the outcomes of basic image manipulation and enhancement technique can result in an image that is more visually appealing, easier to interpret and better suited for further analysis or communication. Thank you.